Hello, good evening. Hey, um, welcome guys once again to the class, the ones that are already here. Thank you very much for being on time. So we're expecting or we're just going to wait like one or two minutes for the other ones to connect. Okay, so let's see. Well, welcome to the one that just joined us. Thank you very much for being here. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Has any one of you uh, had any situation with the platform or something, or is everything okay regarding to that? Are we okay with that? Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Uh, in my case, I was working in the platform today, mm -hmm. and I have problems with the exercise number 1.8 and 2.2 2. 5. But the support, the, the English corporative will help me. Oh, that's good. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Great. All right. So, um, well, looks like it's going to be only girls today. I see no boys today. So I don't know what happened yesterday. Probably they got scared or something like that. I don't know, but probably they are going to connect throughout the session. I understand that probably some of you are just arriving home from work and probably some, uh, some others were already there, but thank you very much for the one that are just connecting. So uh, as we saw yesterday, um, we had, um, or what do you guys remember we saw yesterday? What was yesterday class about? Who can tell me a little bit about that? Oh, you're very talkative today. Very talkative. Uh-huh, someone? Um, uh, we are so talk about uh, two plus bare infinitives. Bare infinitives, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I, I remember that you tell us that the some pronunciation about some words. And, um, and that was pretty much it, right? Yeah, yeah. Pretty, yeah, pretty much it. Okay, so the ones that just connected, welcome. Uh, well, today, before we start, um, I'm going to ask you some questions regarding to what we saw yesterday. Um, as Philomena said, yeah, Philomena, yeah. Uh, we saw yesterday the verbs that can be followed by an infinitive. Now, um, I want you guys to create, I will give you one verb, and I want you guys to create one sentence from the verb I'm going to give you, okay? I will give you like two minutes to think about it, and then you send it through the chat. I mean the chat here on the call, not the WhatsApp chat, okay? The chat that we have here on the call so we can all see it. Uh, now, let me just uh, give you one verb, and we're going to go with, let's see. Mm. All right, we're going to go with this one. Let me just type it in. We're going to go with prefer, okay? I just, I just put it on the chat. Can everyone see it? Yes, Ra. Okay. Yes. So what I want you to do is to create one sentence based on that verb, anything. And then 
uh, to make like in order, every one of you is going to say or repeat your own sentence, okay? You have two minutes to do that. So at 8.07, we're gonna start with that, okay? Understood? Repeat this, sir, please. Okay, so uh, can everyone see the verb that we have on the chat? Can you all see it? That's the first part. So we have the verb prefer. I want you guys to create one sentence using the verb that I just put it on the chat. Just one sentence. After that, every one of you is going to say, what you grow, but I want you to type it in, you know? I want you to type the sentence on the chat so I can see it as well, okay? Please, you have two minutes to do that, so think about it and type it in. Okay, we got it arriving already. We got Rafael as well. Rafael Ruiz, okay, that's good. We got Wendy Moreno already. Thank you. Uh, we got Jenny Santillana as well. I already got Janira Mendoza. Thank you. Okay, Nadia as well, thank you very much. Now another question while we're working on these, is everyone on the WhatsApp group? That's another question. Are you all on the WhatsApp group? Filomena, thank you. Okay, Francisco Alberto, thank you very much. Well, we're still missing uh, some of you. We're still missing some of you. Um, let's see. We are on a meeting. We are 18, well, 19, including me. So I should have 18 sentences. Oh, you, you are not on the WhatsApp group profile? Well, um, if you're not on the WhatsApp group, uh, what English Corporativo usually does is that, for example, when you receive the, the email, like um, with, the, with all the information regarding to the course or to the module, uh, they usually send you a link with the WhatsApp group. So what you have to do is that you just have to go to the email and of course, click on the link and it will redirect you to the WhatsApp group. We got Daisy already, thank you. We got Iris, we got Noemi. Alrighty, so Iris Hernandez, I guess, I'm sure, okay. Alrighty, okay, good. Uh, well, I guess we have uh, some already. So we're going to start by the first one I have. So Arabin, I want you to read yours first, since you were the first one. Uh, 
I don't know if you're talking. I can see you moving your mouth, but we cannot listen to you. Oh, you're, then you went backward. Okay, there you yeah. go. Uh, now, can you listen to me? Yeah, I can. I can clearly listen to you. Okay, good evening, teacher, and good, good evening, evening, classmates. Uh, I prefer watching television than going to the cinema. Good, thank you very much. Now we're going with Rafael Ruiz, since you're the second one. Uh, thank you. I prefer to watch streaming services rather than to watch TV. Okay, now you say to watch, but in your sentence, it's not to uh, watch. Yeah, I forgot it. Okay, okay. Then we go with Wendy Moreno. I prefer to cook my own food than buy some food on the street. Okay. Is that true? Yes. Oh, okay. Good. I mean... We have preferences. So, Jenny Santiana, go ahead. <clears throat> Jenny? Well, she's, she might not be there. Okay, so let's go with Janita. Um, good evening, teacher and classmates. I prefer to travel out of my country. Okay, is that true? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, why not? Why? Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh let's go with uh Nadia. Hi, good evening good evening everyone. And in my case, I write wrong the sentence. I I write. Uh, I I wrote because we're talking about the past. I wrote. I wrote the the wrote uh, my sentence, mm -hmm. uh, but but I I I I wish uh, right. Um, mm -hmm. I prefer I prefer work, walk on the park than run. Than run. Okay, so it's completely understandable at this moment, guys, that we're still having some issues when it comes to infinitives or gerunds. I can see some of your sentences. Uh, we still have uh, a little mistakes. Let's say, uh, Ricardo. Let's go with yours. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my example, my example was, I have, uh, I prefer to eat campero than pizza, but I have other example, teacher. I was, I was writing. <laughs> okay, you can say it if you want to. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Go ahead. I prefer to walk in the park than the beach. Okay. Let's let's be a little be careful with that word at the end. Okay. Let's be a little bit careful. And since we are all adults in here, those are adults here, right? Is there any minor in here? No, right? No. No, okay. What? Yeah, be careful there. Yeah, we had to be careful there because, you know, um, that can be a bad word if you do not pronounce it correctly. So, oh. so um, <laughs> let's see. How can I tell you? But, but you understand what I mean, right? You all understand yeah, yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. So um, when when it comes to that, we make a clear difference, like a very little difference. Sometimes for us, obviously, it's a little bit difficult to listen to because it sounds like similar for us. But um it's not really so when we refer to the place where you can swim and you can take you know a little shower stress out and things like relax and things like that we say the beach like beach like shh, with that oh, but yeah, then we, if you if you make a strong t si usted hace la letra t fuerte like like i don't want to say it but yeah, no, yeah. okay but it is, uh, it is. yeah, you could. That's very bad for for so. women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. so 
is beach. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we have to work on that. We really have to work on that. So uh, you don't make that mistake, okay? So tomorrow, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to ask you again. So your homework is going to be try to pronounce it, pronounce it, pronounce it tomorrow. So tomorrow, I will ask you again. So I want to listen to that difference, okay? So you don't make that mistake when it comes to speaking with an American, okay? Because it's going to be yeah, very but... uncomfortable, believe me. Yeah, I know, teacher, but in my, yeah, I, I think in this case, when, for example, when you are um, uh, angry, uh, uh, for example, you fight with the other or the other people, you say, uh, this this war in this I... moment, but in the, the, this case, the, the, the context of the same thing is walk in the, it's I... a comparative or, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I completely understand. Yeah, yeah I understand. Okay, good. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, let's go with uh, with Philomena. Let's go with yours. Good evening, everyone. I prefer stay home. Okay, I prefer stay home or to stay home. <laughs> what happened with you? When you talk to me, you ask what happened. I study more than than he. I can. He can more than he can more than me. Do you think? No. What do you think? Huh? Uh, we we can listen to you, Richard. So I don't know if the, well, he the, probably the, don't listen to us. No, but what, I I ask I ask idea. No, idea. but my idea I I prefer to walk in the park than than the beach. Oh. The pronoun beach is it was the problem, but only that. But okay. Me, the idea is walk. Hey, Richard, but can you hear me? Correct, correct for for the the word. <laughs> Richard, can you hear me? <laughs> we can hear you, Richard. So, what? so if you can please turn your microphone off. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, teacher. That's okay. Sorry, Don't worry. Teacher. My my wife, my wife, he, she, she's she she's re receiving the class together. So. Is my teach my uh, my teacher? That's okay. She Don't said, worry. She tell me. <laughs> okay, no problem. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hi. Okay. Um. Uh, me. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Teacher. Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. Don't worry. It happens. I prefer. I prefer to stay home. Okay. Good. Now let's go with Francisco Alberto. Good evening, teacher. Good hey, evening, good evening. <laughs> uh, in my three speeches, I prefer to watch anime on my cell phone that on my PC. Oh, your PC. Good. <laughs> okay. Do you watch good. anime, teacher? Uh, it depends because I really don't know what anime is. So mm. I might have already watched it, but I do not really know if that belongs to that category. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's go with Noemi Alicia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. In my case, uh, I prefer listening to music than watching TV. Okay. Daisy. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my sentences is the following. I prefer to listen to music when I wash the dishes. Good. Iris Hernandez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I prefer tea than coffee than breakfast. Oh, do you really prefer tea? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Well, different opinions, right? So let's go with Jose Arturo. <laughs> Boring. Um, I prefer swim on the sea than the pool. Okay, Wilbur. Wilbur. Well, I can see that you have your microphone. Uh, I okay. prefer play basketball. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I prefer play basketball uh, than football because it's more extreme. Okay, two things there, uh, Wilbur. We don't say prefer, we say prefer, and we don't say because, we say because, okay? So prefer because. Now let's go with Alejandro Quintanilla. I prefer good evening teacher, good evening good class. Evening. I I prefer to study English than Japanese. Of course, Japanese is that's really completely different, so difficult. So English is not. So you should be yes. proud of that. Alrighty, so thank you very much for everyone that participated and wrote uh your sentences in there. So today we're going to continue with what we saw yesterday because we, we couldn't finish it due to the time. We didn't even Teacher. fill. Yes, go ahead. Teacher, I have a question. Teacher, in, in this example, when I when you say, or oh, I say, I prefer to go to the supermarket, then it's necessary it's necessary uh, point the bear go go the bank or only I prefer to go to the supermarket than bank. Then bank, I, I, I don't want, what, what do you want to say? That's the question first. My question is, is necessary when you point down, uh, it, we, it is a comparative. So mm -hmm. is necessary point the, the bear again? Uh, I really don't understand your, repeat it again or, yeah, I don't understand your question. I can, I can write that in the, in the, in the mess. In the what you said? In the message, like uh, my question is, teacher, really is, uh, but for example, in the when you when you point, I prefer to go. So in this case, I point the bear go. Mm -hmm. So when is the supermarket? I prefer to go the supermarket down. Uh, bank in Spanish, teacher, but for example, in ese in ese tiempo, yo o sea, usted, yo digo, I, yo prefiero ir al supermercado que que al banco en ese momento uno pone o no pone el verbo go. Oh, uh, yeah, because you want to go. So I prefer to go. Or I prefer going. Either or. No, uh -huh, in, 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 the, in the first, but in the, when you, uh, when you write the comparative point, when you point down, uh -huh. down bank, only, only down bank. Then to the bank. To the bank, because we're we're uh, saying like the Dan Bank is is not. I mean, an American is obviously going to understand what you're trying to say or the idea of what you're trying to say, but grammatically it won't be correct. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, teacher. So, yeah, thanks, teacher. Okay. It was a, it was a do well. Okay. All right, so we're going to continue where we left yesterday, as I was saying, because of the time. We didn't complete, actually. The, today, we're going to have some exercises. So you guys are going to be working on groups later on. And we're going to try to have some exercises regarding to everything that we saw yesterday and what we're going to see today, OK? So let me start sharing my screen. So. Let's see how it goes. Can you all see it? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, let me just move a little bit in here. Okay, here we go. All right, so today we're going to go with the gerunds, which was the part that we couldn't see yesterday. And I would like to have a, a volunteer once again, uh, someone who would like to help me reading, basically. Wendy, go ahead, Wendy. Gerunds, um, what are gerunds? Gerunds are verbs, forms that end in ing and function as nouns in a sentence. They can be used as subjects, objects, or complements. Examples of verbs that are followed by gerunds include. Okay, let's see some examples in here. Uh, 
Structure plus. Mm, say it again. Structure. Okay, good. Bear plus ing. Mm -hmm. Swimming, running, riding. Now, let me ask you a question regarding to this verb. What happened? Can I say, I will, I will write it on chat. Let's see. Can I say that? Can I use it? Can I? Raise your hand if you think that I can say that. Like, raise the hand, like the hand that you have, uh, either this hand or the one that you have on the screen. Okay, we have Wendy, she raised her hand, saying that that is correct. Who else? Can we use that? Can we or we can't? So it's only Wendy, the only one, the things that we can say that? Well, I'm going to take the silence of the others as a yes. Okay. So, actually, yes, I can. I can use it, of course, but does it change the meaning of that? Or what would it mean if I say, let's see, let me write a sentence. I'm just typing in. Just give me one second. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not sure, but for me, when you use when you use by, it is a way. But it is a way. It is a way when I can learn something. In this case, the in this case, the next verb. When you are, for example, I can I can read. Uh, faster by 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 practicing my practicing the 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 theory. No, I don't know. Sure. The, it is it is exam. The theory, you mean? I'm, I'm not sure, teacher. Only I only know the 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 structure when you use by. For example, in this case, that when you point. By it is it is the way. By I don't understand. Are you talking about like by or like goodbye or by by or bite yeah, the yeah, verb by? Yeah, yeah, by. I know I can see the by in this case. I don't know. Follow, follow, follow by generals include. Uh, yeah, yeah, this word. Oh, that one by. All right. So uh, what 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 do you mean or or what do you want to know? This one. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. When you use by, it is similar. When you know the the way, uh, you use this this word. When you can say one example about, for example, uh, I can I can develop my English by reading reading a lot book. For example, I don't know. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah. 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 By reading a lot of books. Good. Yeah, that's good. It's that's not a problem. I didn't really get your question, but I but I guess you got the answer, didn't you? Well, all right. So what's what's the problem in what I wrote? What's the problem? Can someone tell me? Uh, it should say a uh, sense and also the um. The I've am. been. I've been, okay. So if I say I've been seeing the doctor in the last month, would that be correct? I need a yes or no? It shouldn't be better with since last month. 
Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rafael. Someone else? No? Ahorita nos está explotando la cabeza, vea. Too much information for today. In just Teacher, a moment. Yeah. I think am um, is the wrong word in the sentence. Okay. Because after a have, mm -hmm. uh, it is not necessary the verb to be because you are using a, an auxiliary. So yeah. you mean that I can say, I have seen. I have, uh -huh. I have seen the doctor in the last month. Okay, that's good. Yeah, probably was too advanced. Uh, but we can actually say I have been seen. We can say that, which is another um, grammatical tense that you will probably see later on. But you, but you are right. It. I mean, uh, in present continuous, right? I have been seen. Present continuous. It's similar to that one. Pretty similar, but not exactly present continuous. Because oh, okay. if we say present continuous, so we we it's not necessary for us to add the verb be, as you said. So we have to say I have seen. So that's I present continuous. Seen. So, but if we say I have been seen, that can be possible, but it's something that we will see later on. Okay, just I, I just wanted to see. Now let me okay. let me give you another example. Uh, I'm trying to um. Let's see, we're gonna say Pinocchio here. Now let's say reach. Mm. Nobody's called Margaret in here. Right. Nadia, yes. I have a other example. Mm -hmm. uh, I I have uh, been seeing my uncle every day this week. Okay. That that's a good example, actually. Now, another question for you will be: If I use seen. Will the meaning change when I use it as a gerund or will it still be viendo, for example? What do you guys think? Teacher, I don't I don't understand the question. Yeah, neither do I, teacher. Okay, teacher. like yeah. Mm -hmm. It is it is because the very is irregular, no? Uh, no, no, really. because no, uh, no, because you can you can use other other verb, for example, watch or look. In this case, you can you can use you can use ing looking or for example watching or watch each because it is when you watch TV, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you have the idea, guys, but we're getting a little confused, so we're gonna leave it in that way, and we're just going to move on. Otherwise, we will we'll, we will be going in rounds, like in circles, in here, and we will never finish. So let's try to move on then, and I I will try to explain you either tomorrow or later um later on. Okay. So um, here we have, uh, once again, how to create a positive sentence uh, when it comes to the gerunds. And we just have some examples in here. Let me see, can I have uh, um, Iris Hernandez, can you please go ahead and help me? Okay, positive verb followed by a gerund. Gerund, gerund. Gerund. I love swimming a lot. Driving, I go driving on Sunday. No, he goes. He goes he, driving. He goes driving. Okay, good. Thank you. So uh, I'm not gonna stop like, or I'm not gonna explain too much about this because it's very self explanatory. Okay, so we really understand how to use that. What I want you to uh, really understand is which verbs can be followed by a gerund. That's what we're gonna be focusing on. Now, let's go with the negatives and I'm going to need, let's see, uh, Rosemary, are you there, Rosemary? 
Okay. Go ahead, Rosemary. Negative. No plus Jerry. Mm -hmm. Playing. They prefer not they playing. Preferred. They prefer not playing video games. Working. He admiral. How do we say work. this? He admiral. Mm. Are you sure? Admire. Well, it's not really admire. Uh, admit. Admit. He admitted. Uh huh. He admitted not working hard was the reason he filed. The the reason. The reason he filed. He failed. He failed the test. Mm -hmm. Waking up. I like I like not waking up early on the weekend. I think that we all agree on this one, right? On weekends, we like not waking up early on the weekends. That's that's for sure. Now, uh, we're going to move on. Uh, so what I want you to remember in here is that we're not going to say playing not. Remember that on the gerunds, the word not is going to be always at the beginning, and then we will have the gerund. So we're always going to say not playing, not working, not waking up. So that's something that we already know. Uh, so we're, we're not going to stop like in here. So this is the part where I wanted to, to go to. It's examples of verbs followed by gerunds. In here, we're going to have like a little pronunciation of everyone. Let's see, we're going to start with um, Daisy. I want you to help me reading the first four. Admit. Do we say admit? Admit. How do we say? Does anyone have an idea? Admit. 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 Okay. Advice. Okay. Allow. Allowed. Okay. And this one? Anticipate. Anticipate. Perfect. Now we're going to go with Jose Arturo. I want you to go with this one. Another four. Jose Arturo, are you there? Yeah, sorry, I have microphone turned off. Okay. Um, um, appreciate, avoid, begin, mm -hmm. can bear. Can bear. Okay, Gwen, let's go with the next one. Wendy Moreno? Can't, can't help, can't see. Mm -hmm. Can't stand. See? Do you remember that we saw this one yesterday as well? Yes. So what does it mean? It means that some of the verbs, as I told you yesterday, they can be used in both cases. I can either use this one followed by an infinitive and also followed by a gerund. Now let's go with Philomena. Complete, consider, 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 continue, defend. Defend, okay. Now let's go with Ricardo. Okay, the channel here. Um, defend. Defend, okay. Yeah. Delay. Delay. Delay, okay. Deny. 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 This is space. Spies. Spies. Discuss. 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 Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you, Jenny. Let's go with you. Dislike. Mm -hmm. 
Don't mind. Don't mind. Mm -hmm. Read. Okay. Enjoy. Okay. Finish. Okay. Forget. Okay. I don't see this. You don't see it? Can so can someone see it or it's only me probably? Kate. Okay. okay. Imagine. Imagine. Okay. All right, Bing, now that, you, that I heard you talking, please go ahead and help me with the first ones that we have in here. Uh, involve, keep, like, love, mention, mind, need, mm -hmm. neglect, or okay. neglect, which neglect. is the right. Neglect. The right. Yeah, neglect. Neglect. Mm -hmm. neglect. Okay. Uh, permit. Okay, this one, um, for example, uh, when it comes to the bird, we say permit. His permit, but what permit, but when it comes to the like, uh, like, uh, for example, like a card, or if you have your a permit, permit for like a driver's license permit, mm -hmm. so that it's changes. Different. So that's the difference. Even so, even though it's written in the same way, but we are going to use it for different things. So in English, we call to these words homophonous. So palabras homophonas. Así le llamamos en inglés. Why? Se escriben de la misma manera, se pronuncian diferente y se usan para diferente cosa. Si yo uso el verbo como ¿Cómo diríamos el verbo? Permit. Permit. And then, para el otro, para el permiso, it's a permit. Okay? Permit. permit. Se escribe de la misma forma. So that's why we call them homophonous. Thank you. Thank you, Ibin. Now let's go with... Um... Excuse me, teacher. Uh, in the other way, permit, uh, uh, to the use permit mm -hmm. is like a... Like a an, uh, Como una autorización. Oh, it's un permiso. Like, for example, um, like uh, we, we usually use the, the, the term permit to refer to like a little card, like for a driver's license permit. It's not uh, un permiso de como la licencia oh, de conducir. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's like a, yeah. like a document. Like a so, document. Yeah. Like a document. Oh, okay. Pretty much. The permit is a, is a verb. No. Listen, listen to that permit and permit. Yes. So we gotta we gotta know the difference there. So if I say permit, what am I saying? Permitir. And if I say uh, there, there we have we have uh, we have to be really clear wh whether we're saying a permit or permit. You see, that's can, yes. is it, is everyone understanding what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. We, for example, if we say, um, "My mom permit who who is do I cook on the weekend?" Who is talking? I'm sorry, I cannot see who's talking. Jose. Jose. Jose, which Jose? I remember that we had two Arturo. yesterday. Arturo. Oh, Arturo. Okay. All right. So, can you repeat what you said, please? Um, if we can use uh permit to express the for action. Example, for expand, for example, my mom permit mm -hmm. that I cook on the weekend. Yeah, that's the action. That's the verb, and the permit. It's like uh, not an action because it's no longer a verb, but it's un permiso, like in Spanish. Yeah, you understand what I mean, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, so Alejandro, now that we're talking, uh, please go ahead and continue with this one. Okay, postpone. Postpone. Practice. Mm -hmm. Prefer. Mm -hmm. Purpose. Propose. Okay, propose, quit, mm -hmm. recall, recollect, recommend, report, 
require recent? Mm, uh, this is this one is recent because if you say recent. You're recent, you're saying reciente. You're not saying reenviado. This okay. is recent. Recent. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Resist. Risk. Ouch. Start. Mm -hmm. Stop. Stop. Okay. Stop. Suggest. Mm -hmm. Tolerate. Tolerate. Okay. Try. Mm -hmm. Understand. Understand. Understand and urge. Urge. Okay, good. Perfect. Now, um, do we have any questions so far regarding to this? To these verbs. Any questions so far? Not at all, I guess. Um, despise. What does that mean? Which one? Despise. Despise, yes. This. Does anyone have an idea? that I always ask the others because sometimes we have people in the class which know a little bit more and uh, someone can help us to improve it all. Does anyone know or no idea at all? Not at all? No. Okay, so when we say despise, let me give you an example so we can try it. Uh, you can try to understand it. If you don't understand it, then I can, like, um, let's see. Um, my mother helped me to do the homework despite all situations going on. Teacher, I was not sure, but now I am a pesar de... Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. Now, uh, any other questions so far? Yes, teacher. What is the main... Uh, 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 neglect. Neglect? Neglect. What's the meaning of this one? We saw it yesterday. Does anyone remember? Ajá. Así los quería agarrar a todos, vea. It's, it's like yes, a, well, negligencia. Uh -huh. Negligencia? Are you sure? No. Mm -hmm. Is maybe when you don't care something? Descuidar. Like, descuidar. Exactly. That's, but thank you. Sí. All right. So uh, I guess that we're we're all clear so far, right? So the others are pretty clear. Am I correct? Yeah. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Okay, now I'm gonna stop sharing and we're gonna go to the exercises. And we still have uh, we still have 10 minutes or 12 minutes in which we can work in this. So let me just um, see here and try to find it out. Let's see. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna show you some exercises and we're going to go to the breakout rooms. So what you can do is that whether either you take a screenshot, so you have it with you, or you take a picture of, if you're using a laptop or something, you can take a picture from your phone. Or if you're using your phone, you can just take a screenshot. Can you all see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So we have that one and we have this one as well. If you guys do not complete it in within the 10 minutes, that's okay. Okay, we will continue with that tomorrow. Now you let me know if you have it so I can stop sharing and then we can go to the breakout rooms.
Well, I'm going to take your silence as a yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, we're going to go to the breakout rooms. And since we are 21 in here, so we're going to have um, four groups of four and, two group, and one group of five. So please go ahead and join your group. I will be checking, so please speak in English. Ricardo Ernesto, do you have any problem or internet connection or you were not able to join your group? Ricardo? The first one, do you ever practice? Speaking English speaking. when you are alone? Speaking. Oh, yeah. Speaking in English, thanks. Speaking English. Um... Speaking. That's uh, the first one. The second one. I think it shouldn't it be to speak English. To speak English. No. No. Um, I Hello, don't know. Mm. Your opinion is... Hello, teacher. The song? Uh, we are to use the, the structure about the infinity to gerund. Yeah, or either... Either or, mm -hmm. you have to decide whether it is an infinitive that you have to use or it is a gerund. Okay, so we want need to write the verb in ing or in infinitive. Yeah, you oh. have to you have to remember or you have to verify if you have to use infinitive or gerund. That's it. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Mm. Entonces, ¿cuál es la respuesta, compañera? English, teacher. Francisco. English, please. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. What is your opinion, uh, partner Anna? It's fun, film. Hello. So nobody's talking in here. <laughs> Very quiet. We are kind of concentrate, teacher. <laughs> teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Is there is there a mistake in the sec in the in the sixth sentence? A lot of, a lot from visiting a, or form visiting. Uh, let's see. Do you think people learn a lot? Yeah, from. that's yeah from. No form, yeah. That that's a mistake. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for verifying that. Practice. Practice. Speak. Practice. Maybe is the is the 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 verb is speak. Uh -huh. Ah. Ah. Yes. No practice. No. 
speak is the verb uh, which mm -hmm. have to, to no. be followed by by no by eh, eh, Alejandro yes. eh, practice is an example of verb eh, followed by gerunds in this case practice practice eh, el verbo cuál es speak speak, speak. Mm -hmm. Practically speaking. Okay. Do mm -hmm. you practice speaking English when mm -hmm. you're alone? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Uh, number two. Is it easy? Finally. Find a job where you live. In this case, um, it's followed by by a gerund. Okay, we say followed, not follow it, okay? I heard you. Followed. Followed. Okay, thank you, teacher. Followed. What about the others? Okay. Are they participating? I don't see the others saying anything. I, I heard Spanish song word. Who was speaking Spanish? Speak in English, please. Okay, teacher. It's a mistake in the number six. And yeah, there's a mistake. We talking, it's it's no form, it's we from. Were, we it's, were talking about that. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Thank you for, for noticing okay. that. It's not form, it's from. All right. All right. Do you think people learn? Hello, uh, from? Visiting. I think it's visiting. Visiting, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Did you guys finished? Did you complete it all or not? Not really. Okay. So, uh, did you guys complete at least part number one? Yes, we did. Okay, good. So we're just going to have uh, three examples and we're going to go with the first one and I would like to have a volunteer for number one. Who wants to go with number one? Wendy, go ahead, please. To speak. Do you ever practice to speak English when you're alone? Okay, there... We have, do you ever practice speaking English when you're alone? Why not to speak? Because remember, we had to remember some of the verbs. Do you ever practice speaking English when you're alone? So we use their a gerund. Thank you, Wendy. Now, can I have a volunteer for number two? Daisy. 
easy to easy to find a job where you live at the moment? Okay, to find. That is correct. Also in this one, we can use also an a gerund. So if you have an infinitive or if you have a gerund, both options are correct. We can say, is it easy to find a job where you live at the moment? And we can also say, is it easy finding a job where you live at the moment? Now let's go with number three. Any volunteer? Have you ever? Yes. Go ahead. Me. Have you ever thought about learning another language? Okay, have you ever thought about? Thought. Okay, about. Th no, thought. 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 Eh, te escucho una U por ahí que no... Yes. Thought. <laughs> thought. 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 Okay. Yeah, but thought. correct in this one, we have to use a gerund. Have you ever thought about learning another language? And the last one that we're going to have for today, can I have a volunteer for number four? Oh. Maritza. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. What? Do you do mm -hmm. to relax after work? What do you do to relax after work? Okay. Um. Um. Well, I usually uh, gives you homework or something like that, but I understand that probably some of you work during the day and it might be a little bit difficult for you to have a homework and, you know, working and doing those things. So, but since, uh, or did you complete it all, both of them? Or did you just complete one? Completed one, I mean. Just the first one? Yes. I did all of them, but I just wrote the, the right, what I thought is the right uh, writing of the, of the verb, the right form of the verb. I okay. didn't wrote i didn't write the whole sentence that's okay don't worry so what i want you to do guys is what he did uh if you didn't complete the other part uh i want you to have that as a homework i don't need you to write the whole sen sentence i you only need you to write the like the right answer as arriving did okay and then what you can do is that you can send it uh, to the WhatsApp group, like a, like a picture of what you did. And then we're going we're gonna to work with that tomorrow, OK? OK. So uh, any questions so far? Teacher, yeah. can you share the uh, both the screens in the WhatsApp group, please? Uh, I think someone already did it, correct? On the WhatsApp yes. group, someone already sent the two oh. pictures. Do didn't you see it? Oh, okay. okay. I sent two pictures, teacher. Yeah, both of them are in there, so you can go and they are gonna be there. Okay. So uh thank you very much for being here once again, guys. I uh, hope to see you all tomorrow. And I hope you all have a good night, okay? See you tomorrow and at the same time, okay? Have a okay, good night. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.